inside Charles Davis. And Charles, for these Kansas City Chiefs, they, of course, were Super Bowl champions three years ago, the win over the Niners in Miami. They fell to the Bucs in Tampa a couple years back. They had the blown lead in the AFC title game against Cincinnati last year. And now they're back, making their third trip to the big game in four years. And their recent history only increases the urgency to try and win another Super Bowl title with this group. Meanwhile, it wasn't too long ago that the Atlanta Falcons were in the Super Bowl, and that's one that Falcon fans want to forget 2017 Super Bowl 51 but now they're back in the big game for the third time in franchise history and there's no way we can get to this game without remembering a few of those details of that last Super Bowl appearance they were up 28 to 3 ended up losing it overtime to New England give them a ton of credit for putting certainly can't get lost in the moment right now. There's still a Super Bowl to be played, and his offense, they're looking to him to be their leader. You can take it all away when it's over. Right now, you've got the biggest game of your life to win. He is taken down at the 21 after a short gain of two. But Charles, as we've covered, they've already clinched their spot in the postseason, so now they just want to avoid adding any additional names to this list before the postseason begins. Terrific observation because trying to move up a lot of spot, I don't know if it's worth it if you're trying to play guys who aren't quite right. Get them healthy, get ready for the playoffs, make your move then. He was a thousand yard receiver during the regular season, and that's his first catch of this Super Bowl, and he picks up the first down. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down. Executed it to perfection. Prescott looks to throw on first. Another targeting catch for Robert Woods. And he's out of bounds, able to take this one up to the 35. Looking to throw again on second down. Prescott. And this is incomplete. They come up now, third and five, following the incomplete pass. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. That's to his running back, it's Alvin Kamara. And he will have a Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And they're getting him involved early. You feel like they saw something on tape, or they just have a sense with him because he's had a good week of practice or something in that area. That they want him involved, just as you said. They want him to touch it either in the running game or the passing game, but they must like the matchups they're getting. Now a first down carry, it's Kamara. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. 11 more on that one, and another first down. Well, for Alvin Kamara, that speed size combo, just about exactly what you want for a running back, and he uses that size, that strength to bust through a would-be tackler there. Yeah, and this could be a sign of what this defense is in for, because you know all week long, the coaches were preaching to the defense, you've got to be able to wrap up against a back like him, or he can make you pay. Technique, technique, technique. Staying on the ground on first with Kamara. And they'll get eight out of this before being stopped at the 28. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. They run it again with Kamara. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. Coming left is Kamara. And they're knocking on the door now. Take this to about the 10 yard line. A solid pickup of 13 sets him up first and goal. Quite the opening drive march they're on right now. It looks a lot like what we saw in practice prior to the game, doesn't it? You know, because on that last big practice beforehand, you go through your offensive script, you go through your play calling, you go through all the stuff and establish things, and it looks like it's going like clockwork right now for them. 
They'll try to throw now. Prescott, his pass caught at the four. Nice gain of eight that time, and it's second and goal. Running the jet sweep as Prescott bats it forward. And he will score. Touchdown, Kansas City. C.D. Lamb from a yard out. And the Chiefs are on the board first here in this Super Bowl. It's Santos with the extra point. And it's now a 7-0 game. A long opening drive and a very successful opening drive. Which we call that methodical, I guess, when it takes that many plays. Methodical and almost like a boxing match where you're hitting them with body blows. They can withstand them here. Look, they gave up the touchdown, but you don't feel like a knockout is there. But they keep doing that in the fourth quarter, that's when the knockout occurs. And it becomes tough for that defense if they're on the field that long. We'll see if they can continue that in future drives. So here are the Falcons now as they get set for their opening possession. The former MVP in his 12th season leading them out. He's got more rushing touchdowns than any quarterback in NFL history. Cam Newton. As we begin the Super Bowl, we're looking at one of the game's most important players. And whether he's the centerpiece of the offense or taking a backseat to his teammates, offenses always look to the quarterback to be a leader in moments like this. He's got to be that calm, composed pillar out there who stays level-headed and keeps everyone focused on the task at hand. And they'll run here with Tavon Austin. No, a nifty juke there. Not much fun for a guy trying to tackle it. And this will be a Falcons first down as he's got this up to the 35-yard line. This Super Bowl, of course, just a huge one for his head coach. The first time he's walked the sidelines in a game of this magnitude. And, you know, I might normally ask the cliche, what's going through his mind right now? But maybe the better question, CD, what do you think are the pitfalls of being a first-time head coach in this game? Well, you know it's something that he thought about, Brandon, and he had to, and he was thinking about it long before he got to this stage. As the season progressed, and he saw that his team was good, if he was smart, he started to make plans right then and there. Reach out to other coaches who've been there before. Find out how they handled winning, losing, handling all the ticket situations, travel, practice, all those things. And then trust your gut, make your best decision, and put it all out there and give your team their best chance to win. From the 50, Newton. Caught on the right side by Jones. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work to the 45. On the carry here, it's Austin. He doesn't find a ton of space following the display of quick feet down just inside the 45. Newton on third down. And this is Cook with the ground. And he's going to have a Falcons first down. They needed three. He doubled that. He got six. Really a solid start here on the opening drive, Charles. He's now 4-4, four four, and they're already in plus territory. Brandon, he's been so precise to start this game. Like we're watching an operation taking place right now. Master Surgeon at work. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. They fake the give. Newton. Open man downfield is Cook. He's got him. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10. And mark him at the 5. A gain of 32 that time. First and goal. And a chance to get that initial touchdown right back. They'll run here with Ingram. It'll be a pickup of four, and it brings up second and goal. Ingram again. And he will take it in for a Falcon touchdown. A touchdown run there from a yard out. And the Falcons are an extra point away from tying up this Super Bowl. Two able to connect on the extra point, and we are tied at seven. So a nice drive put together there. They go 75 yards in nine plays. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. Taken in at the three. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. And now here comes Kansas City. 
A lot of time for this unit to game play on the sideline after that drive. They watched the other side just score. But remember, last time they were out, they scored as well. We'll see if they can seize that momentum right back. And they have had a lot of time to cool off from reaching the end zone the last time. So have they been able to keep themselves mentally sharp and into this game, even though they haven't been on the field? And you and I both know one big play that gets them right back up to that level. Prescott on play action. And he'll get this one underneath to Kamara. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw a short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. <laughs> And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. We know they have these RPOs in their playbook, and look, we're seeing it here in the first quarter. You think we're going to see it as the game continues? They trotted them out early for a reason, partner. They're letting them know that this is in the arsenal, and we rely on it. You better be prepared because this is going to be an all-day affair trying to stop them. The last run got six, now second and four. Now Prescott. Over the middle, hauled in by Lamb. And that's going to be good for another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcons' 27-yard line. A nice pick up there at 11 yards, and it'll move the sticks. Someone sharp in this game. He made a touchdown pass in the first drive and comes right back, and he's flinging it around really well here. Really nice throw there to pick up the first down. You kind of just feel a laser focus and confidence about him, and I think we saw that this week, didn't we? Talking to him and the coaches, they felt good about his performance coming up. Yeah, I was really impressed with that last practice we saw. When they went through two-minute drill, when they went through all the different situations, but hardly hit the ground, and I thought, yeah, he might be locked in for this one. To throw again on second down. Prescott got his man complete over the middle. It's Woods. And they've got this down to about the 12-yard line. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. They'll pound it up the middle with Kamara. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. The first carry now. This is Williams. And able to get him inside the five here, just inside the five. <laughs> about the Prescott on third and two. The quick slant cut. Touchdown. Zach Ertz from 40 yards out. And the Chiefs have moved down in front. Santos able to tag on the extra point. And that makes the score 14 to 7. Now after the touchdown here, Santos to kick this one away. And this fielded right at the goal line. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. Play action, it's Newton. Out to his left. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. Throwing again on second down. Newton flushed out right. And he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. One quarter done and three more to play here in Super Bowl 57. It's a close game here early on. We'll return after this message. You're watching the NFL, and it's right here on EA Sports. And we are back. Biggest game of the year, the Super Bowl, and both teams ready for the start of the second quarter. And he'll take it across the 50 and into Chief territory. On second down and four, Newton looking for Austin intercepted. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race, and he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. Well, this 
Giants defense, they've been terrific all year, and they come through with a pick six here on the game's biggest stage. Perfect descriptor there because we have seen this time and time again. This defense, their ability to take the ball away from teams, they definitely have a nose for the football, and it pays off again on that play. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. On the return, Andre Roberts from his end zone. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line to the same result had he opted for the touchback. And now this offense comes back out onto the field. And remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six, so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go around. And sometimes, partner, I think it's almost better that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field. You're not over on the sidelines dwelling for it for very long. You're not hearing everyone say, hey, you'll get them next time. Hey, don't worry about it. All that stuff just goes right out the window. You're right back out on the field with a chance to atone. On second and 11 now. Newton, he'll let it fly for Austin. And that will be incomplete. Try to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. Throwing on third down, Newton. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. Tressway on fourth down is sent out to punt. Seven yard punt, a return of four. And it's Chiefs football, first and ten. The offense and Alvin Kamara heading back onto the field. And it may just be the second quarter, but he's in his own well on his way to eclipsing that 100 yard mark. And when a back has a game, as we're witnessing right now, his name's going to be in the books, but it's really a collective deal, isn't it? Because that the means line. he's getting plenty of blocking, a lot of help from his teammates, but he's making the most of it. Yeah, he's made the most of it to this point. On second and nine, Prescott. Open man downfield is Woods. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. From Falcon territory now, here's first and 10 at the 49-yard line. A 10th carry for Kamara. And this time they were ready for him as they'll stop him right at the line of scrimmage. So the first down run lost a couple. Now they come up second and 12. Here's Prescott. And on the left sideline, he caught it, but out of bounds, according to the headlinesman. Incomplete, so the ball a little late getting there, and it's third down. Now Prescott. Dancing to his left, and he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Robert Quinn gets in there to drop him for a loss of 13 yards, and it's also fourth down now. Barry on the punt as he gets this one away. Calls for the fair catch, makes the fair catch just inside the 15-yard line. Now Newton on first down. And his throw is going to be incomplete. After the incomplete pass here now is second and 10. Out of the backfield, it's Austin. And he'll take this up only to about his 18-yard line. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. From the gun on third down, Newton. That one to the sideline, and a nice catch there. He stays in bounds, but a penalty marker is down as well. Understandably, pass rushers keyed up for this Super Bowl, but you can't do that. And let's face it, no one wants to lose one of these quarterbacks early in this game. And he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. Chase Young, credit him with a sack as he buries him for a loss of 10. So now 20 yards to go on second down after the sack. Work to be done. They'll fake the handoff. Now Newton. Six yards there off the scramble, but it will still leave him with a third down. Here's Newton. He's going to get this to Austin complete. And he can only manage to take this thing to the 38, well shy of the first down. 
And he has got it from 55 yards away. That was never in doubt. And that will get the disadvantage now back down to 11. These kickers now, it's like we take them for granted. Kicks like that used to be such a big deal, and now you just expect them to make it. Yeah, you're exactly right, and we shouldn't take them for granted. But I have a theory about it. You want to hear it? Yeah. They are more athletic now than ever before. Talk about kickers. Trace their backgrounds, trace their history. You'll find that they were big-time athletes all along, but their kicking was so prevalent that we made them specialists. Yeah, and now those 50-plus yarders seem easy for some reason. They don't know the curtains. They're always showing why the girl got hit in the first place. Yeah, that one drops down in Maybe that her ball ran in the street. That always happened. At least. On second down, Prescott again. Over the middle complete. The minute details that they have for Nine to yards, show. not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. I was going to go So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. On third and one, here's Prescott. He'll fire deep downfield for Lamb. And incomplete on the deep ball. Jordan Berry out to punt on fourth down. Fair catch signal for and taken just shy of the 30-yard line. They call it 38 yards on the punt, no return. And it will be Falcon football. Atlanta now coming out on the field. Last time I remember their drive stalled, but thanks to their kicker, booted a long field goal to at least get them three. Now here they'll try to do better and find the end zone. And in our experience, how much fun is it for coaches to know that they've got a kicker who can nail it from long distance? Now the hard part is, as an offensive play caller, you don't want that in your head too much where you're relying on it. And he goes out and gets the job done for them, but I'm quite sure he would be content to just kick extra points from here on out. Yeah, absolutely no question. I think his teammates would be okay with him just kicking the extra points as well. And a pretty athletic Choke slammer. Right there as he's going to get this down inside the 40. 15 more yards there and quickly another first down. Good push up front. Choke slammer. In between the tackles. Let's play the leverage game here. Oh, Randy Orton and Oscar Hills. In the defensive front. And they are able to get their pads on them and move them backwards and create space for their running back to roam. Running game working. They'll stick with it on first down. He had to fight that time. Ran through one tackle, but ultimately he's only going to get back to the line of scrimmage. They'll run with Austin. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. The Falcons on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This is third and ten. Now it's Newton. And this is incomplete. Oh, it looked like he had a pretty good line on that one. That would have been a big play, but he could not pull it in. And his kick is good. He got every bit of that one as it's good from 56 yards out. And that'll make this an eight-point game. These kickers now it used to be that a 50-plus yarder was cause for celebration. Now seemingly automatic. Yeah, isn't it funny? When we prepare for a game, when you look at the backgrounds of these kickers, it's interesting, isn't it, to find out they were all-state quarterbacks, receivers, defensive backs, all-state wrestlers, right? Baseball players. We're finding athletes all along. And now they're just specialists putting it through the post. On first and ten, Prescott. He sets to fire deep. He's got a man complete. And he's going to step out of bounds. At the... Prescott on first down. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Here's Prescott. To Valdez, Scantling over the middle. 
This will be a gain of about eight to the 27 yard line. Here's Kamara trying to run for it. And he will have a first down at about the 21 yard line. Give him the third down conversion, five yards on the play. We both know it's difficult, but they've made it look effortless out there. Through the air, on the ground, they've moved the ball with relative ease. First down, Prescott. And they're going to get him. He's sacked back around the 28. Linval Joseph. Busting through to get him for a loss of six. To try again after the sack. Prescott. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there. Trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Seventh play of this drive coming up, and a long way to go on third down. Prescott from the gun. And oh no, it's incomplete. Well, it's a touchdown if he holds on, but somehow took his eyes off of it, falls to the ground, and brings up fourth down. Santos' kick is up and through, and the lead now 11, 24 to 13. So that one on target, and it adds to this first half lead. And maybe we're too early to worry too much about one score lead, two score lead, et cetera. But this is where you kind of start banking those points that come in helpful later on. Here's Roberts to bring it out of the end zone. The Falcons ready to take over. And tough to win games if you go field goal, field goal, field goal. Here they got field goal last time. Now they'll be looking for a touchdown. We're looking for the big chunk now because, as you noted, the field goal, field goal, field goal way of doing it makes it that much harder and puts more pressure on every possession for you now. Go ahead and get six and feel a lot more comfortable about the position they're in. Bigger chunks. We'll see if they can get the score. Looking to throw again on second down. Newton and brought in by the tight end Cook. Four catches already here in this Super Bowl. He's got another first down. That was a round run, not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and put the down marker back to one. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Newton to throw. On the slant, he'll get it to Jones. And just a yard to go here on second down. Up the middle they go. Austin. And he'll do a nice job here just to fight his way back to the line of scrimmage. We have reached the two-minute warning. In fact, just under two minutes to play in the opening half of this year's Super Bowl. He gets it to Humphreys. And he's going to have a Falcons first down by a couple of yards as they're able to convert there on third and one. And yet again, it's Humphreys. To throw again on second down. Newton. That's caught by Jackson. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 38 yard line. That one goes for 13 yards and it moves his sticks. To the air again, Newton. And the throw left sideline here is. I believe they buzzed down. They're going to take another look at this play with all reviews coming from the replay official here in the final two minutes of the half. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty tight. Well, here's the call. So that challenge is successful one. On second down and four, Newton. And this is Cook with a grab. Now the Falcons going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Now on third down, an extra DB out there for the Chiefs. 
Here's Newton. And Jones has it over the middle. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 14. From the red zone now, Newton. And complete right side to Cook. And down inside the 10 here before he's out of bounds right around the 7. Throwing again is Newton. Right back to Cook for another completion. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. Out of the gun, Newton. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And he takes this down to about the two before going out of bounds. And they got three yards, that's enough. A conversion, and now it's first and goal. Now a play fake, and it's Newton. A quick throw knocked away and incomplete. Second and goal, and they will try again from the two-yard line. Here's Newton. And this is caught for a Falcon touchdown. Adam Humphreys as the first half is winding down. And the Falcons are able to cut into this lead in the final seconds of the first half. Extra point by Kuhl, up and good. And the lead is down to four. That drive a long one, spanning 15 plays. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. Taken in at the three. And he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. So we've come upon halftime in the big one, the Super Bowl. As now we send you out to Orlando and hook back up with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. What a season this has been. Hard to believe it ends tonight. As we'll get back to you guys.